Remember that LFLC concept? Well, Lexus is headed to Detroit with a production version. BMW is officially cutting the roof off its i8 and a new Honda Roadster, yay! Plus, Porsche's Mission E gets the green light and it's Monday. So we have Commenter of the Week. Isn't that right, AK? Yes, Derek D. Nice. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Derek D. You're watching Fast Lane Daily, a show that won't lose to the other New York football team because of a bad play calling. Yes, I'm bitter. It's Festival Lane Daily, isn't that right, Erica? Festival Lights Daily. Festival Lights Daily. You made that up, that's right. <laughs> the BMW i8 Coupe has been on sale for a while. But what about the BMW i8 Spider concept we saw over three years ago? What's the holdup, BMWs? Well, there is no holdup anymore. Going into production. Some open air motoring with a bunch of electric power sounds pretty cool. We'll just have to wait and see what sort of roof mechanism the production model incorporates. The concept version had removable roof panels, but they aren't gonna go with that. They tend to favor automatic roof setups, like the hard tops on the Z4 and 4 series, and soft tops on the 2 series and 6 series. Uh, hopefully, they'll use a light hard top. I don't get down with the soft tops. But I do love soft serve ice cream, uh, soft yogurt, soft pretzels, soft blankets, a soft breeze, a soft touch. Oh, uh, I just meant no soft tops. Yeah. I kind of okay. went somewhere else there for a second. <clears throat> the Porsche Mission E concept first showed up at the Frankfurt Motor Show in September. People were impressed with its output of over 600 horsepower and a 0 to 62 time of 3.5 seconds, with a range of over 310 miles. So guess what, AK? What, Dirk? It's going into production as well. That's right. Porsche will invest around 1 billion euros while creating more than 1,000 new jobs as their Mission E project officially gets underway. 1 billion. Whoa. That's significant. Yeah. The Porsche Mission E will be the first 100% electrically powered Porsche and will start being built at the end of the decade. So I'm guessing around 2019-ish. Dr. Wolfgang Porsche, chairman of the supervisory board of Porsche, was all business when he said, with the Mission E, we are making a clear statement about the future of the brand. I'd say, especially when you're dropping them billions, son, just like, I mean, yeah. billions. Billions. Billion euros. It's a lot more than a billion American dollars. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of money. So now that we have a new Mazda MX-5 and basically a rebadged version of the car in a Fiat, we like to call it a Fiat here at FLD. You know, uh, Honda wants to join in on the entry-level sports car segment again. I'm talking a successor to the always fun, the popular S2000 Roadster. Yeah, I know, we've heard this many times before. So you could take it with a grain of salt. But according to some Honda insiders, the successor is in the works. Sources say the new S2000 will stay true to the original principles of a front-mounted engine and rear-wheel drive. It will be pitched as a faster alternative to the MX-5. But we will believe it when we see it, AK. We've heard the rumors before. Yes. I think it would be cool if they make it as a hardtop convertible. Because as I said before, that's my thing. Switch it up, you know? That's all. Uh, it's been almost four years since we first saw the Lexus LFLC concept. Crazy, huh? Yep. That thing seems like not that long, but four years. Its new design style is, uh, and, and its new design style and large spindle grill kicked off a big design revolution for Lexus. And we saw a bunch of LFLC design elements work their way into Lexus production cars. Now, rumor has it, that a full-on production version will happen soonish. The LC500 Coupe will show up at the 2016 Detroit Auto Show in January. The report says that the LC500 will arrive with the Lexus naturally aspirated 5-liter V8, taken from the RCF and GSF. As for the hybrid version, the LC500H, it may be powered by a 3.5-liter V6-based hybrid drive system that could produce something like 470 of these. <laughs> it's 
a good amount of horses. Yeah, I like good it. amount of stallions. A good amount of. <laughs> wow. That was more like uh, Mr. Ed. Wilbur. You guys know what time it is, AK? I'm going to you. My favorite time of the week, Derek D. Commenter of the week time. Count it. Commenter of the week. Comment our show. Yeah, commenter of the week. Comments. There it is. Nice. This comment comes from Evelyn fan Manuel Alvarez. And Manuel, you know what? I think he's got a great way of looking what this whole Top Gear new Amazon show. He's got a great way of looking at it, is what I'm trying to say. And he said, I will be watching both. More car shows? Yes, please. I don't care who is or who is not hosting. It's a win no matter how I look at it. Top Gear USA, good show too. Does your show have cars in it? If yes, then I'm watching. I've even watched the Aussie ones back when they were on. Keep the comedy coming, FLD. I love it. Ba da ba ba ba. He's loving it. Yay. Yeah. Well, there you go, Manuel. You know, that's a good way of looking at things. Staying positive, just in life in general. You know, no one likes a negative person. It's all entertainment, folks. Both, both those shows will have big budgets behind them, and whether you like the hosts or not, it will be entertaining. Too many times you find yourself comparing one show to another instead of just watching the show for what it is. We've had Adam Ferrara right here on FLD a bunch of times, who is one of the hosts of Top Gear USA. And he has always said they are not trying to be the Top Gear from the UK. If anything, they're just trying to do it justice as fans of the original. Also here at FLD, we are a daily car news show. Our goal from the beginning was to give you guys daily car news in a fun and informative way, and we stay true to that core responsibility. We appreciate you guys watching and knowing that. Of course, we do fun stuff out of the studio when we can, but budgets are a real thing, and when we are able to do things, we do them, as you know. So before jumping the gun, watch Top Gear when it comes back, watch the Amazon Prime show when it's on, and then decide, or don't even decide, and just watch both of them. Who cares? That's the thing. No one is telling you what you can or can't watch. Yeah. And you know what, Manuel? We will keep the comedy coming. Because after all, we are just talking about cars here. It's supposed to be fun, right, AK? Yes. You know? Yes. So there it is. Good, good, uh, good comment there. Mm -hmm. Yep. Thanks uh, for all the comments, folks. We do appreciate them. All right. Actually, a lot of people loved the little bit Erica and I came up with last week when I was running the streets with the porch thing. Mm -hmm. Those comments not going unnoticed. We do appreciate it. Thank you for that. All right, FLD, question of the day is, do you think Honda's S2000 successor will live up to its pedigree or will it play catch up with the rest of the competition? What I mean is, when the S2000 came out, people were like, whoa, because it blew away the competition. And that thing was legit. Will this new one do the same thing or are they just kind of throwing it out there because, you know, the new Mazda MX-5 and you got the Fiat, the Fiat. We kind of want to know what you guys think. Hashtag FLDQ of the D. Send your own in to tips at FastLaneDaily.com. There you go. And that'll do it for FastLane Daily today. I'm Derek D. Thank you for watching, everybody. Please follow us on all our social media. We would uh, appreciate it. And if you do, especially on Facebook, you might end up on Friends Day Wednesday. That's how it works. And uh, don't, uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. I know some of you are just watching. Hit the button, okay? Okay? Love you guys. See you later. Okay, we have the lovely Erica here, as you guys know, and uh, this is the lighting of the FLD studio. Eat your heart out, Rockefeller Center Christmas tree. Are you ready, guys? In three, two, two one. one. Oh! Wow. Yes! <laughs> the lighting of the... Christmas. Ow, we're living in the fast lane, baby.